So, um, what inspired you to get inspi uh, involved with the rehabilitation and arts program and tell this story on screen? Yeah, I, you know, I had been producing a short documentary um, in a maximum security prison in Kansas. I'd never been behind the walls. And we were doing a doc about something totally different, but on the tour of the facility, I passed by a cell and there was a young man raising a rescue dog. And immediately in that one image, I saw this healing that was happening in two directions between this young man and this animal. And it completely upended all my expectations of what to think about prison and the people who are incarcerated there. Largely, a lot of those opinions have been built by our own industry of the movies that have come before us. Mm -hmm. and, and the impact that that can have um, to, in many ways, dehumanize uh, the people who are behind these walls. And so I was just desperate to learn more and I you know, got on the computer that night in the hotel room and I was just like, who is doing things differently in prison? Immediately this program, Rehabilitation Through the Arts, like came at the top and I was just fascinated you know, by the work that they do. And then I got particularly fascinated by this one production that they did in 2005 of uh, the time traveling musical comedy called Breaking the Mummy's Code. And there was just something about the zany, playful comedy in such a dramatic place. Mm -hmm. And that, that felt like it matched this beautiful seesaw of, of a tone. And, and from that point, I was, I was in, you know, and, and we went on to become volunteer teachers. We taught inside the program. And, and invited the men who had lived it, who had come home from prison into the process and then centered them at the, at the very heart of the cast of this movie. Okay, so I'm curious then, you know, I know you're the director, you're the yeah. an artist. As a former artist myself, I was taught that one of the things we ever, yeah, no, 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 no. An artist is always an artist. As an artist myself, yeah. I'm taught one of the things we aim for is a desired response. Yeah. So what is the message or what's the desired response you want audiences to take away from your film? I mean, there's many layers to that. I would say like in the first, at the first level, just to see the human potential behind these walls that can come out into our world when they're, you know, and, 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 and make our communities better, lift, uplift us all uh, with the lessons that they've learned and uh, with the art that they can create. And, and then secondarily, through the two characters at the center of the film, you know, Divine G is... Uh, uh, is a man who, who always was the first to help anyone else. And the thing that he really had to learn is, is in helping everyone else, sometimes that's a defense mechanism to not receive help yourself. And that's something that particularly resonated for me and uh, uh, in, in my own personal story, a, a lesson that I, I need to learn, you know. Maybe you're, you're not in like, maybe I know you need to learn that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, watch this movie, man. <laughs> um, so just add a last question. Yeah. Um, filming this, filming this in Sing Sing Prison, was there any particular scene or was there any particular day or any story that was very challenging or hard to film that you would like to, that you can tell us about? Mm. Uh, there was a, there was always like a, it was a roller coaster. Some, some, some scenes would just fill you with abundant joy. There's warmth in this movie. There's laughter. It's, it's not a, uh, it's a movie that's going to make you weep, but it's it's going to make you... It's, it's more about the tears that you're releasing that that you can't define by any one emotion. It's, it's like the tears that you just were just holding so tight in yourself that you just needed to let out, you know? And so I let... Everyone jokes on this cast of like how much I cried at the making of this movie. But it's like, I, there's so much I must have been holding on to that, that these men in this program and telling the story gave me permission to to let go of. Like we almost did the <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. I was like, you're